Josie Altidore's playing career could be summed up into one word, it would be a goddamn major disappointment. And I know that's two words, but Josie couldn't tell you the difference. He has a tenuous grasp on the English language as is. Throughout his career, he's had some highs, he's had some lows, and he's had some highly questionable tweets. This video was a long time in the making. As you could say, he's been a disappointment <coughs> since conception. Inception effect. Josie started off his uninspiring career with the New Jersey Red Bulls. Played alright, played decent. Decent enough to earn a move abroad to Villarreal in 2008. But we all know, nothing good ever comes out of New Jersey. Josie, out the door, eh, you could call him. You know I love my wordplay, but Josie's overall gameplay was lacking. He was loaned out to multiple clubs, being Chera City in La Liga 2, Hull City in the EPL, and Bursa Spore in the Turkish Liga, for a lack of a better term. Josie sucked on all these teams, subsequently making these teams suck. All around, everyone sucked. Josie couldn't even find any minutes with second division club Cheras, and don't even get me started with relegation bound team Hull and Bursa Spore. With Hull, he scored a whopping one goal in 28 games. Woo! Pathetic by Josie. Hull still blames him to this day for getting relegated, and with Turkish side Bursa Spore. He played just as bad or even worse as he only scored one goal, making him the undisputed one goal wonder. Josie had blood on his hands at this point, causing the demise and relegation of two teams back to back. This wouldn't be the end to his wedding crashing tirade. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. At this point, Villarreal had enough of Josie and sold him to Dutch Giants AZ Alkmaar. Would have probably sold him for free if they had to. Anything to get him off of those books. With AZ Alkmaar, he actually tricked us into thinking he was good, scoring 15 goals his first season and 23 the next, placing fourth in the Golden Boot race. Here he had many fooled, including myself, but just like many other prolific scorers in the Eredivisie, oftentimes it doesn't translate to better leagues. Just look at Alfonso Alves and Vincent Janssen. Those are two names you do not want to be associated with. Following his two extraordinarily lucky seasons, Josie was transferred for a whopping 11 million euros to EPL club Sunderland, making him one of the most expensive flops in soccer history. His first season with Sunderland, he scored one goal, a tribute to his nickname, One Goal Wonder. Somehow, even with this low of production, Sunderland were not demoted and Josie got to play one more season in the big leagues. The next season with Sunderland, he proved everybody wrong and played even worse, scoring no goals. To put this into context, I even had the same amount of goals as Josie that season. If any scouts are watching this, sign me up. Expect the same production, but with less locker room disruption. Sunderland were through with him and chucked him curbside. Flipping burgers was a real possibility for Josie. His future was uncertain. Would he ever kick a ball again? The answer, he would. He signed with Toronto FC in Major League Soccer and played good. Part due to him riding Giovinco's coattails and him being on one of the best goddamn teams in the league. Giovinco won him the treble in 2017, and since then the fame has really gone to his head. He has actually convinced himself that he's a god tier player. Delusions of grandeur. Last week, he went on a Kanye like Twitter mental breakdown and called out Taylor Twelman and poor old Bobby Warshaw out of all people. Taylor Twelman, I get it if you want to rant about him, but Bobby, goddamn, he's such a great guy. Here's the first tweet, and I quote, Hey, the 12 in national team career was laughable. Beasley should be that analyst or me a ham. 12 in need to be on extra time radio with Bobby Warshaw. He a white boy with connects. Stop giving him a platform. Okay, there is a lot to digest here. First off, Taylor's career was cut short by head injuries, not by getting us eliminated from the World Cup, Josie. And yes, I took that one straight off of Twitter. It was too good to leave off of our video. And secondly, Josie, minimizing a man's accomplishments to him, just being a white boy with connects, is objectively racist. If the roles were reversed, Twelman would have already been canceled and filming an apology video right now. Extremely disappointed in you, Josie. And not only that, but he doubled down the next day where he commented on Taylor Twelman's tweet and said, Your money can't fix this. Big, strong, powerful issue. Acknowledge it and be better. I don't want, nor need, nor charity. Oof. That is not a good look, and I think many, including us, 
are very confused at what he's angry about. He's just mad for the sake of being mad. Taylor Twelman took the higher road, and Josie just keeps stooping lower and lower and lower with each and every tweet. Be careful, Josie. You might pull a hammy with all this typing. The only probable reason I think for his tweeting rampage is that he is still butthurt that Taylor has Sergeant above Josie for that starting position, which I'm pretty sure everyone does at this point. Just look at Josie's last season with Toronto. Two goals in 15 games? Now that's laughable. I know for sure that I never want to see Josie in a USMNT sweater again. Next stop for him is retirement, and it looks like it may come sooner than we thought. Josie out the door? Go f yourself, buddy. Well, if you enjoyed this episode of Major Disappointment, please like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you. We'll see you next time.